Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be watching the Marvel Studios official MCU Phase 4 trailer that they dropped today without any warning. Or if there was some warning, I wasn't aware of it. But I think there's some Eternals footage in here. I can't be entirely sure. It's not like 14 other channels have posted thumbnails with Eternals screenshots and screen grabs on them. It's just... Yeah, uh, basically I feel like I've already watched this trailer without even watching it, but who knows. So pretty excited for this, apparently there's some new footage uh, that hasn't been seen for some reason. There hasn't been a trailer drop for the Eternals, so this is the closest thing we're going to get to it. Kind of weird, kind of has me concerned, but knowing that Chloe Zhao is behind it and she just got an Oscar, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more interest for this movie. I am really excited for it, it feels like they're really taking a risk with some of their more uh, recent features that they're putting out, such as Shang-Chi and Eternals, kind of like the risk they took with Guardians of the Galaxy, which is now kind of a household name. So hopefully that's what this one becomes. It's got a great cast. It has Angelina Jolie in it. I mean, come on, guys. You don't get her coming out of the woods for just any other movie. She barely makes an appearance. She's kind of like the groundhog during Groundhog's Day. It's just you barely see her. So pretty big deal. Can't wait to see. Let's just let's just watch it. Let's just watch it. All right, let's go. being with people it's the most incredible thing in the world what are you doing oh this is nice that world may change and evolve but the one thing that will never change we're all part of one big family damn here in stan lee <sighs> right in the honey not filios your brother that woman over there she's your sister higher further faster baby that's right we're all part of one universe Wakanda forever! that moves ever upward and onward to greater glory Dude, I would re-watch that video, like, every two weeks, just to get some serotonin back. <laughs> it's, uh, I remember, like, it was yesterday. Mm. Alright, let's go. forgot that this movie is coming out. I, I'm, I'm excited. But I'm done running from my past. We have unfinished business. Who's we? Yeah. <laughs> they're just showing a lot of Asians driving. I think they're really trying to... Wow. <laughs> We're the ones who changed everything. Yeah, hot Kumail. That's not the only thing I noticed. <laughs> oh wow, cool. It, it... Mm, the marbles. Damn, they keep changing the logo. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm talking about. Not that I'm not trying to be a cornball, but hey, I, I love the MCU, man. I'm a big fan. I don't know if I made it obvious, but damn it, my heater's on. I'll be back. Okay, so a lot to unpack, uh, but that was a really, <laughs> that was really cool. There are some shots from that Eternals footage that are so reminiscent to Chloe Zhao's uh, Nomadland, which won the Oscar, yada yada, you guys know. But look at that, look, let, let's go back. Let me just look at that screen grab. Uh, no, 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 I'm gonna mute it. 
So let's go back. No. So, okay, so we got Hakumail, looking hot. Man's ripped, he's shredded. Uh, I don't know what, what he's on, but man, good for him. You know, you still gotta put the work in. That's awesome. Um, yeah, man, this is very brief on what they're showing us, but here we got the whole cast. Um, if you haven't seen Train to Busan, this guy is incredible. I um, I think his name is Madong Sok, Sok, I think, I should know. My, my pronunciation's bad, but he's great. He was one of the best parts of that movie. Obviously, that's Angelina Jolie. We have Richard Madden. Uh, we have Gemma Chang. Gemma Chang, right? Yeah, Gem Gemma Chan. Goodness. Uh, Gemma Chan, this kid, I don't know, but he looks like Peter Pan, or she. Oh, God. Please. Please tell me I'm gendering this child correctly. Correct me in the comments down below. I don't, I don't know anything about this casting, so... From this image alone, could be a boy or a girl. Whatever, I'm not trying to sue. Uh, Kumail, obviously looking just shredded, just looking good. Look at this guy. I mean, damn, <sighs> what a transformation. Anyways, uh, the Eternals cast looking great as ever, just wearing normal clothes. Looks like it's setting in some time, <laughs> maybe like the 1800s. I don't, I don't really know. It looks like, I don't know. It kind of looks like the period genre. A little bit it looks like it could be taking place on earth it looks like it could be taking place on their home world I don't know uh, just given what they're wearing it just seems like a mix it look, looks like Camille's wearing a bomber jacket so I don't know if <laughs> that's just something he brought on set or whatever um, but yeah from this I can't really tell what's going on I, I assume it takes place on their home world keep in mind I don't know much about the Eternals I'm like most people uh, watching this movie I'm gonna experience the Eternals for the first time on screen uh, when it debuts so really excited um, looks like a cool cast they look great I mean look at them just diverse AF they, they they it looks like they're trying to promote a college for their diversity this is just the splash page Richard Madden fantastic actor loved him in Game of Thrones loved him in Game of Thrones that's what I'm trying to say so yeah I'm really excited for that but let's go to this shot of Sama Hayek it feels like this was directly taken out of Nomadland I think Chloe Zhao she really likes um, she really likes landscape shots she really likes kind of the open Western desert that's kind of the setting for a lot of her films so it's interesting to see this shot in a Marvel movie but doesn't mean I'm less excited for it if anything it's really interesting I think that this is kind of the uh, kind of a globe-trotting kind of movie, kind of expanding the universe of the MCU, but also hopefully bringing in a very intimate story because that's sort of what she's known for. So really excited for that. Um, almost forgot Salma Hayek's in this. Incredible actress. Um, yeah, Frida Kahlo. Come on, guys. So yeah, just really excited for the, re the directions that this movie's going to take. I drink a lot of coffee. Yeah, another shot like this with Gemma Chan in it. Looks like it's a beautiful landscape shot behind her. I'm just talking about the shots that are just so reminiscent of Nomadland, but I really feel like Chloe Zhao is going to really bring her own personal touch to it. And I think that's what I really like about these movies and the directions that they're going. I feel like they're giving a lot more trust to the directors to kind of put their vision on top and also have like Marvel put its stamp there and say, hey, these are the characters, this is the direction that we want the story to take but you can do it in your style, and I really like that. Um, so yeah, not a lot to say about the <laughs> uh, Eternals footage. There wasn't a lot that they really shared, uh, but overall, it just looks beautiful. I'm glad that we got to see something. We don't know much about the characters. We get to see some of their abilities. There's this specific shot right here, which is just gorgeous. Um, I, I assume that they're just these godlike figures, and I hope they get treated in that way, but also get uh, we get to know them as an audience and get to feel their humanity. Uh, I don't want them to be like so distant from humanity that we just can't relate with them at all. I think that would not be very interesting for storytelling. So can't wait for the direction they're going here. Um, so yeah, I think there is another shot here. This is the one that I'm talking about. So this shot of Angelina Jolie's character. I don't remember <laughs> all the characters names um, based from their comic book counterparts so I don't know off the top of my head what character she's playing but it looks like she has a really cool looking sword can't say much about that but this is the screen grab that I've been seeing um, so yeah I, I can't wait looks looks amazing she looks badass and uh, yeah uh, what else what else did I kind of put 
together from this trailer. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, there's this shot here, and then someone joins them here. Obviously, Speedster. So we have someone there. I don't know who that character is. I don't know who's playing that part. But they each have their own abilities, from what I know. So the Eternals each have their own given abilities. Uh, I think Richard Madden is playing a character called Icarus. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't see Kit Harrington in this, but I know he's in this. I think he plays. Oh my God. I, I know this character. In Black Knight? Yeah, Black Knight. Not the Martin Lawrence movie. Don't get those confused. Didn't see him in the trailer. Maybe he was in there briefly and I didn't see it, but hopefully we get Rob Stark, Jon Snow, and Tyrion reunited. I don't know if Rob Stark shared any scenes with Tyrion, but it doesn't matter. We get a Game of Thrones reunion in the MCU. That's, 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 that's fucking cool. That's really cool. Okay, so cannot wait for them to chew up scenery together. Uh, let's see where this goes. I mean, like I said, there's not a lot to say, so I'm not gonna try to dissect this. I'm sure someone's gonna do it, make a 20 minute video on this less than 15 second clip. Um, but damn, look at Kumail. Just look at that. That is a man. And he was a man before, okay? I'm not saying you have to be a certain body standard to be a man. He was always a man. And now he's just. He's just a chiseled man. Same dude. Just rock hard. Wrong choice of words. Okay, let's go. Um, so yeah, basically through the rest, we, we, we saw some Black Widow footage, but nothing too crazy, so I'm not gonna really talk about that, but I am excited for that. Uh, we saw some new title cards. Uh, no Way Home. Yeah, we, we knew that already. Let's go through it. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. We've seen this before. Nothing's changed there. Uh, let's see. This one here, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. So we got a new title for the Black Panther film. It is the slogan of Black Panther, basically. It's the one thing that everyone knows. If you haven't seen Black Panther, you at least know Wakanda Forever. Uh, so hopefully this is somehow going to pass on the torch, the Black Panther mantle after Chadwick's passing. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what Ryan Coogler is planning to do, but he has the monumental task of either passing down the mantle or just getting rid of the Black Panther title entirely uh, because what what can you do? I mean Chadwick was such a star, he's such a core part of the franchise of Marvel. Um, he's literally the title character so what are they gonna do? We'll see but it feels like that title is sort of honoring it. You can't even see the title right here. <laughs> so yeah they're going to honor him in some way. I feel like this title is alluding to that, so I'm excited for what direction they take. I can't imagine what you could do. No matter what he does, I feel like he's going to get some sort of backlash because you can't serve everyone. You can't please everyone. So whatever they do, I hope that they do it with the utmost care um, and they consider every single angle um, possible. But also, I hope that they do a great story, that they serve Chadwick's legacy, and they do something that honors him and his family. And also at the beginning of the, uh, this trailer, we had Stanley's voiceover, which was just, just the cherry on the top for the emotional cupcake that we received. So, damn, Marvel, you, you, uh, you know, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing, okay? And I think it's probably that Disney element that knows how to tug at our heartstrings, but man, doing a good job. Uh, but yeah, uh, new titles for the Marvels, so I assume that this is going to be a Captain Marvel, Ooh, whoops, that's my real estate agent. So yeah, the Marvels, it looks like this is going to be the new Captain Marvel movie, um, but I assume it's probably going to be a crossover between the new Ms. Marvel Disney Plus show and Captain Marvel herself, played by Brie Larson, so I think they're going to combine them. So cool, that's pretty cool. I haven't. You know, no one's seen the Miss Marvel show right now, so we don't know how uh, Iman is going to be playing that character, but I hope she does a really great job. I'm rooting for her. And the show, uh, yeah, uh, in general, I think is really cool. It's bringing in a new, younger audience, and she was one of the mo more popular characters from the uh, newer Marvel comics, so glad that they're doing that. You know, her as well as Miles Morales, Ironheart, those are kind of the new generation of characters that they're trying to bring into uh, the MCU, so. Really cool to see that. Really cool to see how she interacts with Brie Larson. Um, yeah, so yeah, uh, Miss Marvel kind of idol idolizes Captain Marvel, thus her name and the choice for her garb. Um, so we get to see that. We get to see that in the S in the Marvel. So I assume that's what they're going to do. And I feel pretty safe in that assumption. So really excited for that. But yeah, the title overall doesn't really 
it's not like the coolest <laughs> graphic design it just feels like they took the original one and they just added the new s which is fine but whatever i'm not here to criticize uh, their graphic design team because it's way better than anything i could do it just looks like they just combined the two things so maybe this will evolve and change um maybe this is something early because as we can see later for uh not Quantumanium, uh, that looks like it's pretty much the same as what they showed, but Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So I feel like the graphic design for this title has changed so many times. Uh, I think this is like the third iteration, just based off my memory, from based off their announcement. Uh, so I think they've changed this, this for sure, the Volume 3 part. Sound waves? <laughs> is that what it's called? God, I'm gonna get so much hate. Uh, but yeah, it looks like they did that instead, and I like it, I like it. I think I like the last one a lot too, so I, I'm happy with either one, but I think this is going to be the final one moving forward. Um, I didn't see any new title card for the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Christmas special that they're going to be doing, uh, but I would like to see that. Um, but yeah, anyways, yeah, May 5th, 2023. That seems like it's forever ago, but then again, this past year went by so, so goddamn fast and moving on the fantastic four uh we already saw this um but it looks looks good looks the same <laughs> and then we have uh as someone said shang chi doing his green belt <laughs> demo <laughs> that comment cracked me up um but yeah but now we get to see what he actually does he punches the dude in the gut dude goes flying has the man bun or just bun, just call it a bun, guys. It's just a bun. Don't put man in front of it. It doesn't make it more masculine. It's just what it is. It's just a bun, okay? But yeah, he's got the little top knot thing. We got Aquafine in the back uh, reacting to it. And I think what follows is probably her who the, who the hell are you comment or whatever, which would make more sense because in the trailer it just looked like he responded with his green belt demo. <laughs> but I think this is kind of what follows that. So I think... Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to dissect the trailer. You don't need me to do that. Um, overall, that's it. Do I have anything to say about the Thor Love and Thunder? Yeah, uh, they changed this logo too. It looked like it went through a couple iterations, but I love this final design. It's it's gorgeous. It's striking. It feels so Flash Gordon-y. It feels so retro 80s, um, but also kind of exciting. It feels a little bit metal, and I think that's kind of the direction Taika Waititi's taking the franchise. I mean, obviously, he had the Immigrant Song, and that's Thor's song now. It really does just belong to that character now. So that's really cool. But yeah, I love the aesthetic. I love where it's going, and yeah. Overall, the new Eternals footage was minimal, but it was cool. It was really cool to see something. I hope they release a full trailer within the next month or so. I know it's going to drop just randomly and I'm not going to be aware of it because I don't have Twitter or anything like that. So when it does drop, I'll try to do a reaction. But man, I, I'm really excited for this new direction. Uh, for a lot of people, the MCU sort of lost their interest after, you know, Iron Man passed away after <laughs> after Avengers Endgame. That's where a lot of the audience sort of fell off or they were like, hey, you know, what? where do you go from here? But I think the Disney Plus shows are showing a rejuvenation and, an, and putting more attention on the characters themselves. I think we're starting to move away from the who's the next big bad, but we're starting to look at, you know, what's the inner conflict of these characters? What are they going through? What are the repercussions of these events on their lives? And I think that's a lot more interesting. I don't I don't know. That's just me. But Thanos was great. He was a character who had inner conflict. He was interesting because of his motivations. And I hope we get to see more of that. We didn't really get to see that in the Flag Smashers. And um, I think that Agatha was sort of badly executed towards the end of her show. You can watch the videos that I did on those. But I think that they have little elements in there that make it really interesting, like the Flag Smashers being a result of the snap. Uh, I thought that was really cool. And I thought that Agatha her kind of motivation at the beginning of the show and her meddling was really interesting. I just think the way that they ended it was eh. So I think that the Disney Plus shows are getting their footing right now. They're trying to figure out how to make a show compelling while using their budget, while also being careful with how they distribute that budget through the episodes, because you can really see that they really try to pour it all into the last episode and in their finales. Um, and, but it, when they do that, it kind of loses sight of what's really at the heart of the show, which is the inner conflicts of the characters and their relationship to the villain. So yeah, I feel like it's a common thing between WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier is that the ending feels a little bit rushed. And I think they're gonna work through that, 
but I really like the things that they're planning. I think that these movies have got their footing a long time ago. I think they have a structure that they know is sound. I think if Marvel continues to expand on their storytelling, explore the entire universe, don't be shy on what stories they can do. I think with Eternals, that's just showing that they're continually taking risks. So I think there is an endless possibility of stories that they can grab from. And I think uh, I think they're going in a great direction and I can only just say, hey, go MCU, you're, you're doing it. You're making money, you're taking my money, but I'm happy to give it to you because you're giving me entertainment. So yeah, that's what I thought about this. I think I went on a little bit too long, uh, but hopefully you guys were following along and enjoying what I had to say. If not, let me know in the comments down below what you thought. And yeah, let's have a conversation down there. Uh, and also just like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe, etc., whatever. But most of all, guys, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're getting vaccinated. If you haven't, sign up, do it. Do it, do it so that the world can be balanced <laughs> as all things should be. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Really appreciate it. And uh, as always, guys, I will see you later.